three types of tape that you'll usually see on the shelves of your local stores. White tape, blue tape, and green tape. The white tape has a high tack which is extremely sticky, only has a one day clean removal, and is good as an all purpose general masking tape. The blue tape has a medium tack and it has a 14 day clean removal. This is ideal for freshly dried paint, metal, and mainly interior surfaces. And green tape. Green tape also has a medium tack but only has a five to eight day clean removal. This is great for windows, trim, and walls. And the advantage of this over the blue tape is it has a great UV resistance, so it will work well on windows or on exterior surfaces. So I'm gonna show you the proper technique to apply tape to a window. In this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to apply your masking tape to a window, but the same application can be used to the outside of a window. Pull your tape out about eight to 12 inches and rest your tape up against the surface that you're going to be painting. This is going to create a nice smooth line for your tape to lay down on. Apply your tape at the top and slowly using your fingers move down and as you can see the tape is staying right up against the trim. with this tool is extremely simple. Apply the tape to the top corner of the surface to be masked off. Press firmly against the surface with your hand holding the masker and follow behind with your finger to apply the tape to the surface. There's a serrated blade on the end. When you get to the end of your surface, pull against the serrated blade which will Cut the plastic and tape. And attach. The advantage of this product is that the film actually has a static cling. And as you pull it down, it will cling to your surface for you. Once you've got your plastic down, you're still going to want to mask off the remaining edges. A couple of important things to remember when you're removing your tape. Number one, make sure you remove your tape immediately when you're done painting. This way, you can get at that paint that has possibly leaked underneath the tape to clean it up with the damp rag that we've got on hand. The second thing to remember when you're removing your tape is it's important to pull the tape away at an angle, away from the surface that you just painted. Make sure you select the right tape for the job, whether it be the white tape, the blue tape, or the green tape. Don't forget, when removing your tape after you're finished painting, remove it immediately when you're done. This gives you the opportunity to clean up any paint that has possibly leaked underneath the tape while you were painting. And secondly, remove the tape at an angle pulling away from the surface that was just painted. Always read the manufacturer instructions on any products that you're using. We here at Forest want you to be successful in all of your projects. Please visit us at www.forestpaint.com and www.forestechblog.com.